So a lot of you requested that I talk about the recent situation with Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy, Darius Dalton. This is more of a Chrissy was right video. I told you so kind of video because I did talk about this when she announced her pregnancy several months ago. And I talked about how she dated down. She chose the wrong man to mate with and father her child. And of course, a lot of black women were upset with my opinion. But once again, I was right. And the inevitable results of hypogamy are are coming to the surface way faster than I expected, but they are coming to the surface. And it's easy to predict at this point, yet black women keep fighting me when I tell you that these women are walking into a burning building, choosing to date down and mate with these men, especially when they had better options like Kiki did. But I will speak more on that in a minute. So Kiki went to an Usher concert and Usher was being the entertainer that he is. He was serenading her like many performers do to members in their audience. And her baby daddy took to the internet to say that he did not approve of what she was wearing. He tweeted, it's the outfit though, you're a mom. Now, of course the Manosphere men and women are saying that Kiki was being inappropriate with Usher and I would agree, but Usher is an entertainer. This is no different from Janet Jackson or Beyonce dancing on men in the audience at their shows. And mind you, those two women have done it when they were partnered and or married. And I just never saw this much backlash from black men towards those women. So there's obviously a double standard here. Black men were also more accepting of women like Kim Kardashian being half dressed in magazines and online when she was married with children. They also flock to these IG models online who wear clothes very similar to what Kiki was wearing and sometimes even less. And a lot of those IG models are mothers. Those men don't care. They're still, you know, paying for their OnlyFans every month. So the problem here is the lack of consistency and different standards for different women. Not necessarily that men don't particularly like their girlfriends to wear certain things out in public. Now, after Darius started getting dragged by black women, he doubled down and he tweeted again. And he said, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. And I already see a lot of black men and black women in the red pill spaces responding to this saying, oh, he's a traditional man. He made a mistake getting with Kiki. She's a modern, independent, feminist woman. And once again, it's just a bunch of reaching because if he were that traditional, he would have made her a wife before getting her pregnant. He also would be the breadwinner of his household. He's also not as quote unquote moral as he claims to be because he actually filmed Kiki twerking on Instagram because he liked the way her body looked after having his baby. And the traditional thing to do would be to keep that private and between them only, not show it to the world. The traditional thing to do would have been to talk to Kiki in private and let her know in private that you didn't approve of what she was wearing, not blast her on the internet like an immature child. And of course, men in general, regardless of their tax bracket, they have the capacity to embarrass the women that they're with. But to me, it's much worse when the reason behind their embarrassing behavior is because they feel inadequate financially, which is at the root of why Darius is upset in my opinion. It had nothing to do with Kiki's dress. The problem is he's not anywhere close to Kiki's level financially. So when he saw Usher, a man who is on her level, serenading her at his concert, he got jealous and he took to the internet to tweet his insecurities. And I'll be honest, the men I'm dating, the men I've dated in the past, they wouldn't necessarily want to see me wear a see-through dress out in public, you know, to a concert, nor would I wear a dress like that in public. The big difference is the men I'm dating wouldn't post me twerking. So it's the lack of consistency that proves these men aren't actually traditional. And let me also say that Darius doesn't appear to be black, but he is very much so culturally black. So of course, his version of traditionalism is extremely skewed. It's back words just like these fake men online and really what it is he's just like them he wants the benefits of being traditional and the benefits of being the man of the house without actually doing what it takes to put himself in that position and quiet as it's kept a lot of the men online are the same way which is why they're defending him most of the men talking the most trash are low earning to average earning men they're living with their breadwinner girlfriends and baby mamas they don't have the authority and the power they want in their relationship because they want it 
to be hypergamous kept effeminate men that live off the women that they're with. So they're empathizing with Darius who is in the same powerless situation. That is what this is about. Black men want the benefits of traditionalism without actually being traditional men. Now, what I want to say to the ladies is if you're saying Kiki doesn't have to respect Darius's opinion on what she wears because he didn't marry her, then that means he was not good enough to have a baby with. And this is what I was saying in the community tab I made about this months ago and the video I did about this months ago when she got pregnant. And it's just so interesting to see how some of the same women who were just praising Kiki for her pregnancy and getting mad at any black woman like myself who said she should have chose a better father for her child because she was fully capable of doing so. Some of those same women are now completely shitting on her baby daddy for not marrying her and not being the breadwinner in a relationship, but still trying to make demands. And that lets me know that y'all knew this whole time that she chose the wrong father for her child. Bottom line, he was not good enough to procreate with. Y'all felt so bad for Kiki because she had PCOS and you know, she really, really wanted a baby. And while it's normal for women to empathize with that, a lot of you didn't realize at the time that because of this lopsided relationship dynamic where Kiki makes significantly more than Darius, he's likely about to put her through hell in this relationship in more ways than one. And while I understand that women in Kiki's tax bracket won't always find men who make the exact amount of money or more, in my opinion, they should just opt for a man who's in a similar tax bracket and not too far off because if they don't, there will always be a power struggle due to that man feeling inadequate. And as I showed y'all in my last video about this, Steve Harvey introduced Kiki to several men who were actually in her tax bracket. And look, I am not saying they were all quality because Steve himself is problematic in a lot of ways. So it ain't no telling who he was introducing her to. But I do remember them joking about how one man he introduced Kiki to wasn't quote unquote pretty enough for her. And fast forward to today, Kiki got her quote unquote pretty man and her high yellow baby, but now she's stuck with a whiny, insecure, much lower value man that will never feel man enough for her. And he's probably gonna put her through hell because of it. This is only the beginning in my opinion. And honestly, it's probably happened before. He just didn't publicize it. We just didn't know about it. But every time he sees Kiki interacting with a man of higher caliber, a man who is her peer financially and professionally, he is going to feel some type of way, even if their relationship is totally platonic. And ladies, that's what you have to understand. In these type of relationships where the woman is making significantly more than the man, both parties or at the very least the woman will eventually become resentful because one is pulling more weight than the other. And if you're the breadwinner and you got a baby on top of that, you're doing a lot. You're gonna get tired. And something else that can happen is the man will attempt to overexert his dominance and authority because he feels unneeded, he feels useless, he feels powerless in the relationship. And I'm not saying this will happen with Kiki, but this is also how a lot of men become abusive in this kind of dynamic because it's the only way they can feel powerful as men. And y'all can talk about how it should be and how patriarchy puts too much pressure on men and how it needs to be dismantled. But look, men made it this way and they wanna keep it this way. So if they fail in the system they created, that's on them. And I'm gonna tell women how to navigate in the system and get the best deal possible. Not make dating and mating choices based on how it should be and based on how men should be. This is how they are. And they act horribly when they make much less than the woman that they're with. So the best bet is for women, especially black women, to move accordingly and date and mate equal or up if you don't wanna deal with it. Not saying that everything will be perfect, no relationship is perfect. And hey, if both parties are cool with the dynamic where the, where the woman is the breadwinner and pays all or most of the bills, fine. If you don't have a problem with it, everybody's happy, fine. But if you're a woman who doesn't want that, then don't date or marry down. And like I always say, I don't like to directly compare celebrities to everyday people because Kiki, she most likely will be way better off than the average black woman. But that is exactly the point. If you follow in her footsteps as an everyday black woman and you date or marry down and have a baby with that man, the consequences will likely be far more catastrophic. 
And we see evidence of that every day in these relationships where black women are constantly complaining about having to do everything in their relationship by themselves, having to shoulder the burden of the entire household. And I know why it happens. Like I always say on this channel, black women are conditioned to hold a brother down. We are constantly conditioned and shamed by this community into dating down. And these same men will get online and talk about how you should have chose better after they told you to settle for less. Now, again, it's much different with celebrities. When you have two millionaires and one makes less than the other, they'll be fine. But when you get to the average couple, especially average black couple, a man making significantly less makes a lot of difference. So that's something you got to keep in mind. And I also saw where Kiki not too long ago came out with this speech, basically trying to encourage women. And I would say specifically black women to date solely based on a man's character and not on his finances when both are equally important when vetting and choosing a man. So I'll be honest, I was kind of hesitant to jump and make a video in favor of Kiki because she intentionally chose this unworthy man, likely because she wanted to call the shots in the relationship. And she actively tried to get other black women to follow in her same stupid footsteps. And now she's beginning to deal with all of the cons that come with dating down. So she really left a bad taste in my mouth when she did that and she also may actually come out to defend Darius if she hasn't already by the time this video is released and this is why I also say that black women we also have to be careful about jumping to defend black women not just black men but black women as well because at the end of the day they usually stick beside their man and they give horrible horrible advice to black women especially these celebrity black women they give horrible advice to everyday black women and it just really rubs me the wrong way so I'm doing this video not so much to cape for for Kiki but to use her situation to highlight to other black women the possible and very likely results and repercussions of choosing unequally yoked men to father your children because when I look at these lopsided hypogamous relationships that successful black women put themselves in to me it just doesn't appear to be worth it I would rather date up and if I couldn't do that to me being alone is better I know that's not a popular take but if I couldn't date up or at the very least date equal I would rather be alone than dealing with a man baby that feels inadequate because he doesn't make as much money and forever being stuck with that because we have a child together. It just doesn't sound appealing to me at all, especially considering how a lot of these women end up paying child support or alimony if they marry low value men. Not to mention the amount of stress these women are under in these relationships, how it negatively affects their health and the strain it puts on them having to carry most of the financial burden. I'm just more on the traditional side and as a woman, I don't feel it's a woman's job to be paying out all this money and taking care of men. I'm not sorry for feeling that way, especially if I as a woman have to very carefully navigate this patriarchal system that men created. No, they are gonna have to cut the check. And moral of the story, ladies, is choose wisely and be very selective with your womb. And again, I told y'all this would happen. And that's all I wanted to say about this. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'll catch up with you in the next video.